Hello my soccer universe, with El Clasico coming up this weekend and me also publishing the final Champions League review video where I'm ranting a lot about Barcelona jerseys, I thought it might be a good time to look at a maybe classic Barcelona away jersey, it's this 10-11 Barcelona away shirt, a shirt that upon release I've always actually liked and I'm laying here the ground rules and I can make a whole video ranting about Barcelona away jerseys for a long time. Uh, but for me, turquoise is one of the proper colors that Barca can choose. It actually is not a very classic color. However, they won the Cup Winners' Cup in the uh, season and with uh, the original Ronaldo uh, in 96-97 wearing such a turquoise shirt. And for me, that's why turquoise always has kind of a special place in Barcelona lore and when they came out with this one I actually thought this was really smartly done. Now I have been toying with getting this shirt for for a while but whenever I saw it my wife always said the colors are off. This is not a color that will look good on you and so yeah I I, I, I posited it to her in that season. Do you like it? No I don't. The, I once saw it on Wilhelm again and nah. <laughs> this will not look good on you. Um, and then I saw it for a really reasonable price. Uh, I think it was back in Corona times, uh, some, uh, somewhere in those whereabouts. I saw it I think for 15. I said okay, I want to have a turquoise sparse jersey, this might well be it. However, I needed a little bit of push over and I knew my wife is not going to give me that push. <laughs> and so I asked my daughter, uh, the older one, and she said, yes, you need to get it, I love this shirt. Lo and behold, I mean, how can I deny her? And so I got this shirt and uh, there's an unpacking video with her, I'll link it up uh, here. And uh, she was really excited to have uh, that I have this one. I have not been wearing it much, I know I put it on and my wife again said, Roland, this looks a little bit off but okay. <laughs> so that's the genesis of this shirt in my collection, a shirt that I always like but you know, I really respect my wife's opinion, especially what looks good on me, but in this case I think what won out was the fact that I wanted to have a turquoise shirt. There have not been that many great Barcelona turquoise shirts as well. So let's have a closer look at this particular shirt. Now what always got me uh, with the Barcelona shirts uh, when I had them in, in, in my collection is that the collar, I always thought it's a plain crew neck, but no, it has this double fold over and the uh, home shirt equally does so. But while I agree with my wife, the color is maybe, yeah, let's say not the most flattering in, 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 in a way, what I absolutely love is this chessman in the Blaugrana colors. Um, and especially, I mean, I even think that the slant here makes it different. Um, I sometimes do wonder if you could have done the color here in blue and this one in uh, blue, in, in, in the red and then it's somehow meeting here in the back to add a little bit or add a little bit on the sleeve cuffs too. But I think by itself it really stands out as a really nice jersey. It of course has still the UNICEF sponsor. This was the last season that they had, 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 had it. And I think it also fits nicely in. Uh, yes, it is not matching this blue, but it matches the pants which were actually navy when worn. Uh, has the authentic tag here. It has all the necessary tags on the inside too. Um, uh, the dry fit is actually, other than that, rather plain. You know, you have here a little, a few ventilation holes. Uh, it comes, of course, with the La Liga patch, which is something I really love about Spanish shirts, although uh, as of late, I think Barcelona is not doing it anymore. And then you have here, and this is just a, I think I want to say Silicon de Mesquion Club, uh, back when Barcelona still could claim that, in my opinion. And on the back, it's a blank jersey. You have the, I think it's called the Senera de Catalan flag. Uh, which I think this is, pro is, is probably a very bold and very prominent application of it, which uh, rounds it out quite nicely. Um, I still think, I know this is not the crest that we are all used to, I still think that the previous one was a little bit better. Um, my main grab is that the FCB is so squished together here, uh, whereas in the other, other one it really filled out that space. 
Uh, that's my only gripe with the crest, other than I think the shape is, of course, legendary. It's a classic Barcelona shirt. The last thing, and I've said this before, what I really like with these uh, jerseys from, from the time is this bubbly feel here on the inside of the, jer uh, the, uh, the jersey, which, which I find really, really interesting. Nike have done something really cool there. Now, of course, this is a jersey from a really legendary season. I mean, everyone remembers Barcelona winning a Champions League final in style against Manchester United at Wembley. However, I, I do, and I challenge you, do you remember this shirt really being worn? I had to actually do, do some research before I did that. I had... The only thing that I do remember is that uh, Barcelona had a preseason two in Asia and many Asian f fans were actually disappointed that Barcelona were wearing this shirt instead of the reg regular colors and there was this whole discussion that we should actually have. Uh, if you have promotional tours, why don't you wear your regular shirts? I guess you want to both boost the sales of this one. Um, it was won in the Champions League run in the knockout stages actually twice. First in a 2-1 loss at Arsenal, uh, which they then turned around in the return league with a 3-1. They actually had a lead through Villa there as well. And then in the quarterfinals, um, in a 1-0 away win at Shakhtar Donetsk, where they were already really in control of the tie. That particular season, of course, remembered for the semi-final and the final. Uh, semi-final against Real Madrid in one of the greatest, uh, you know, build-ups uh, ever with the four Classicals in uh, within a month. However, I challenge you, do you remember the other semi-final? Look out for that one. Be it as, as it may, I personally like this shirt. Yes, I have not worn it a whole, whole lot, uh, but I always said I want to have all the proper away colors for Barca, which to me are the yellow, the orange and uh, the turquoise. There might be others out there, but those are the ones that I consider proper. In any case, let me know what you think about this jersey. Give me a, do you agree with me or my wife on this one? Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. <laughs> Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.